Hi guys, in today's video, we are going to see how to answer abstraction in OOPS concept. If you are getting question in interview, what is abstraction or define abstraction or define OOPS concept, then in that, how do you going to define abstraction? We'll discuss it with real time example. But before starting, I have a little announcement. After that, we'll continue with the video and I promise I won't interrupt in between. Okay, so the announcement is, are you preparing for GATE? Are you going to take GATE 2022? Then this announcement is for you. Battleground is ready. Emerge victorious like a warrior in your GATE journey. Be a gate yodha and show your knowledge spirit by taking a full length gate mock test. Enroll it now free of cost. And this is for all the branches CSIT, electrical, ECE, ME, CE, CH, all the branches. You can enroll it free of cost. You can check yourself how much you are prepared for the gate 2022. And one more important announcement. An Academy Gate Combat. Guys, if you want to get up to 100% scholarship, this is really a great opportunity for all the branches ME, CE, EE, Triple E, CSE, CSIT, all the branches. Just try and enroll the Gate Combat test, which is going to be live. It will be 60 minute test, only 60 minute test. This is going to be India's largest weekly competition for GATE, which is starting at November 21 at 11 a.m. If you, And you know what? You can enroll it free of cost by using the coupon code TEL10. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead, check it out. All links are there in the description. Now let's proceed with this video. Starting with the definition of abstraction, hide internal implementation and just highlight the set of services is called abstraction. Quite straightforward, right? So basically, more or less abstraction is what the name suggests. Means I don't want to show the world how I have implemented this. For me, what is required, the end user should see the user interface what it has to be made for. Okay, they don't have to worry about how the messaging system is working. They need to only worry about that their message should be delivered to the right person they are sending. Basically, to avoid such situation which is not required for a customer, we are hiding the implementation of all the software or all the applications which a customer is using. So this is this can be achieved by abstraction. Hope, hope I'm making sense. Now let's see how to achieve abstraction. So it can be achieved by two way. One is abstract class and other is interfaces. Interfaces we have already discussed in the previous lecture. If you haven't seen it, please go ahead and check it out. What is an interface? Now, in this lecture, we can see what is an abstract class. So, abstract class is a class that must be declared with an abstract keyword. It can have abstract and non-abstract methods. It cannot be instantiated. Simple, right? So, if you are creating any class and you are using the keyword abstract, then that class will become abstract class or even if you are adding a method, a single method in a class is abstract, then the class will become an abstract class. Okay. Now, what is abstract method? Abstract method is a method that does not have body or that does, that does not have implementation. A method which is declared as abstract and does not have implementation is known as abstract method. Okay, so this is all about an abstract class. How we can make a class abstract? Just declare one method as abstract or make the class abstract using the abstract keyword. This two way you can achieve the abstract class. Now, the question, why we need it? 
we already know this answer just we i am i'm just mentioning here a few point so that we all are on the same page okay so these are the point you already you are already aware of just you are going to read it out that's all we can achieve security as we are not highlighting our internal implementation make sense enhancement will become very easy because without affecting end user we can able to perform any type of changes in our internal system because they don't worry about internal system they don't care about our internal system so end user will not be impacted it provide more flexibility to the end user to use the system very easily of course because we are making changes in the internal system it provides maintainability of the application correct all the three points are same it improve modularity of the application it it improve easiness to use our system more or less all the points are same they are talking about we need to hide implementation for the security for maintenance and it will be easier that we should not disturb our end user or customer and we can do our work now do i need to tell you the real time example of this because abstraction we are using everywhere not a single place where we are not using it i don't know if you know any single place where we are not using abstraction to let me know because without abstraction we cannot achieve anything here are the few example i'm giving messaging banking just an example because almost everywhere we use abstraction so hope this video was informative to you if it was informative to you don't forget to press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet thank you guys thank you for watching